Welcome to Technicado Pro guys. We are on the third lecture of Jenkins. Today we are going to learn how to create a pipeline type project and how we are going to connect GitHub with Jenkins. So let's start right away. We will create a new item that is a new job and uh, we will select a pipeline type of a project and then we will take a GitHub repo and we'll try to connect it with the Jenkins with proper authentication method so we'll see three things creating a pipeline project then uh, uh, seeing a github repo and connection between both these two we have selected it and we are going to create a pipeline project name with the name pipeline Python project. <clears throat> so uh, once this is created, we will again it will again open the box inside it where we can do the customization related to any pipeline, and there we are going to do the same things that we did in our last lecture. Just give a description. We will discard old builds again. Just put any number what you think is appropriate. And we'll leave all these things. And we'll directly come to the pipeline section. So there are two things. You can define the pipeline here directly. But this is not recommended because the pipeline project, whatever the script is there inside it, it's very complicated and it needs to be changed uh, from time to time depending on the requirement so if you will come here and change it everything here then it will be a little bit uh, complex and it will cause different kind of errors so what we do what is the recommended way is to pick the pipeline from a SCM source code management so here the source code management that we are using is github okay so what we are going to do here is <clears throat> this is our SCM and we'll use git okay so repository url we have to give what repository url we'll give we'll copy from here the https one we'll just click on it it will be copied here we'll enter here okay now we have to set up a credential now here you are saying that it's not giving me any error to set up a credential now this is because we, I, I have taken a public repo I'll show you in another lecture how to create a private repo and then uh, connect it with Jenkins. So if you will take a private repo here, it will give you a 404 error that the connection is not possible. So for that you need to connect it with the help of a credential. Currently you see there is no credentials is set up. So you will click on here and you will set up a global credential for this. Correct? So this is a Jenkins node. You need to give a username, password, and ID. Correct. So for that, first you need to create a personal access token inside GitHub. Yeah. So we are first going to create this uh, authentication username password in Git GitHub. So what we are going to do is you will have to come to the, your profile and go to the settings option. Open the developer settings option at the bottom and go to personal access token in the classic option token classic now you have to generate a new token so you will generate a new token classic one just give give it a identifiable name okay and the ex expiration you can identify and give it as per your requirement and what level of access do you want to give here okay so i'm giving them admin accesses delete access is also there just give everything so that we do not have to come back here and change anything but if you are in a project just identify that what level of access do you want to give them and then do it okay we'll save it somewhere because you cannot 
copy it again uh, in the future you have to regenerate the token and that will be a new token correct so we have generated the token here and uh, your username will be your github username so yeah so we will just add the credentials here so username will be your github username you can check it from here okay so mine is my email id okay then you will give the password password will be the token here id will be the name and here also description you can give the same thing okay now you have checked this thing you got this okay now what we are going to do here like i told you it's a public repo we will create a private repo here and then we'll uh, try to connect with it so we'll create a new repo here jenkins repo make it private okay now we'll create a repo now the repo is created copy the address here and change it see there is no error once i remove it taking automatically but once i remove it you can see that there is a error it, it is telling me it's not able to connect to the repo okay so i have again used it see it, the error is gone so this is how you create a, rep, a github repo to your jenkins just apply save it And once it is saved, then you can go and build your pipeline. So this was just a mini introduction to how to create your authentication between GitHub and Jenkins. We'll meet in the next lecture and try to do a full length project on Jenkins. Thank you.